everybody, what's up? I'm Rebecca Lee, and I've got another great home video for you guys to follow along with. Um, all you need for this one is the medicine ball that I keep recommending. I can't say enough about these medicine balls. They're great. Pick one up. We use them all the time. There's no reason why you can't get one. I think this one was 20 bucks. It's four pounds. I use it constantly. Pick one up. They're great. Um, and then a bench. If you don't have a bench, a flat table, some kind of you know, something similar to a bench, but um, also you can find pretty good benches on eBay, um, wholesale if you're interested in something like that, but just look around online, you can find a good bench for not a lot of money. And some dumbbells, and today I'm going to use my 8 pound dumbbells. This is going to be a chest workout. Um, it's going to be um, just two simple basic um, exercises. One you've probably done a billion times and one I bet you probably haven't done, um, and that's with the medicine ball. But we're going to start with the dumbbells first. You're going to go up on your bench, and if you're ever alone and you're using dumbbells on a bench, use your, um, your knees to kind of support you to go down, depending on the weights that you're using. You don't want to um, not have a lot of stability. I'm going to have my knees up. And that's basically because this um, bar is loaded and I didn't want to unload it. So um, it's up to you. You can have your knees up on the bench or you can have them down at your side. But for this exercise, I'm going to have my feet right on the edge of the bench. And it's a little bit more support too. And since I don't have a spotter right now other than my handy camera person, this is what I'm going to do for right now. So you take your dumbbells and kind of have your um, palms facing each other, your knuckles facing each other, like this. And um, I, this is kind of cheesy and I'm a girl and I'm sorry for all my male viewers, but I like to think of the dumbbells as like kind of kissing. I know that's cheesy, but that's how I envision it because they're kind of like saying hello. So um, you start out like that with the dumbbells facing each other and you're just going to let them fall out and then go back in fall out. This is using a lot of strength in not only my chest, but my biceps. Don't let them go straight out like this. That's fine for a different kind of exercise, but right now we're really focusing on keeping them facing in towards each other like this. And going out and coming back in. Two. If you were doing this in a normal workout routine, I would say do three sets of 12 to 15, depending on the weight that you're using. But you're definitely going to feel it. I hope my form looks okay. I really can't tell what it looks like. I don't have my mirror. Not that you should rely on mirrors, but it definitely helps to be able to um, check yourself if you don't have somebody watching you. You can bring it in closer to your chest. Don't let it touch your chest or your pecs, but bring it in closer for a deeper workout. Or you could bring it up a little bit further. It's a little bit less resistance that way. But this is going to give you a really nice, um, you know, the nice striation in your chest. It's going to look really nice. So, like I said, if you were doing this at the gym or at your home gym, I would say three sets of 12 to 15, depending on the weights, would be adequate. Don't let your shoulders fall too far down because then you're just going to pull that muscle and it's going to add um, unneeded stress to your uh, rotator cuff, which is very painful. So don't do that. So that's that one exercise with the dumbbells on the bench. And now I'm going to do something different that you probably haven't done before. Or maybe you have. I don't know. Um, you're going to take your medicine ball. Kick your dumbbells out of the way. You're going to take your medicine ball. And you're just going to have your arms nice and straight. Everything should be pretty much linear with each other, parallel, right, parallel. Your shoulders and your elbows, and you're just going to grip the ball really, really lightly with your fingertips. I don't want to see this. This is not, this is awful. This is what you don't want to do. You want to be really nice fingertips just grasping the ball, everything in a nice straight line. And you're just going to do a nice, simple chest press with the medicine ball. Pretty fast. And you're going to feel it again, not only in your chest, but your shoulders and your biceps. So it's a really nice um, full body, well, full upper body exercise. 
And I would do about 30 of these if you're losing, using a lighter weight. Two sets of 30 would be good. So you just do that. And you can definitely feel it. It's an excellent workout. Um, these medicine balls, I cannot say enough good things about them. Get one. Absolutely. If you're going to have a home gym or you want to do some work at home, out of everything, you know, other than the simple dumbbells and barbells, you, this is the one piece of equipment that I really, really strongly recommend. So, as a nice little chest workout, you can do the one with the bench, three sets of 12 to 15, um, just a nice dumbbell press with that, and then for something different, a little bit more, you know, cardio involved, you're just going to do this. I, and like I said, two sets of 30 would be adequate. Just see how many you can bang out real quick. But I can definitely feel it. So it's an awesome workout, and I hope that everybody is enjoying these workouts so far. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. Um, I like to put up as many videos as possible each and every week. Um, do these exercises. If you're following along with these at home, you're doing your cardio on the side, you know, early morning cardio is always best. I always tell all my clients that um, follow a good diet. Nutrition is more than half of the battle. Um, get your supplements, ProteinFactory.com, great protein. Everything you need is right there. Keep watching, keep subscribing. I'm Rebecca Lee, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.